Morning campers. Well, here we are. All packed up. Just getting ready to go. Oh, excuse me. So the plan for today, I'm going to try and do 20, 20, I'm going to try and do 25 miles or as close as I can get to it. And then that leaves me a short day on Monday. And, uh, hopefully Jerry will be there and I can give him a call and maybe he can pick me up. Um, and get into Lador or Ledor. <laughs> anyway, we'll see, we'll see how it goes. See how the terrain is today. That kind of thing. That, that's going to dictate whether or not I can, I can do it or not. But my pack's a little lighter. Uh, going to get to the water source this morning. I'm going to camel up there because I definitely need some more water. There's a bird up there. It's like a little hawk. I have to show it to you guys. Here. We missed him. That always happens to me. Every time I try and take a picture, it's like they know. And then they fly off. Yeah, anyway, like I was saying, I'm going to get to the water source and, and uh, pound down some water because I am a little dehydrated. I, like, I'm not bad. I had breakfast this morning, had some water and and that, and I've got 700 mils to get me there, which I think is about five miles. Yeah, we'll see how it goes. And uh, yeah, I just take it as it comes and see what happens. And I'll show you the sights along the way. Okay, talk to you later. Hi, guys. So... I thought I'd show you this, because this is quite a change in scenery, really, when you think about it. Oh, and I'm in Idaho, I think. I've got an, oh, it kind of tickles me. You know, I'm in another state. <laughs> I don't know why. I've never been in Idaho. Well, now I have. <clears throat> anyway. Yeah. More rolling hills, eh? Kind of more greener. Greeny patches and... I don't know exactly where the trail goes, but I just thought this was kind of cool. Of course, you can see all the smoke. Um, I didn't have a very good sleep last night. I don't know if it was the ash on my tent that sort of bothered me a little bit, even though I wasn't close to any fires. Just the fact there was ash on my tent, I think, you know, subconsciously sort of kind of worried me. But I slept okay. Okay, talk to you later. So... I don't know if I ever told you guys, but I was a welder for 20 years, actually. And, you know, I, I look at some things that people come up with and I think, oh, that was a good idea. Look at this. Look how simple this is. You push the ring up, the gate opens. Push the ring in, the gate closes. Can't go up that way, right? Can't go down. Just the way he's got it set up. And it's just a little piece of flat bar. Two rings. You know, and a, and a little U-bolt here. Like, great. Simplicity of it, but works really well. And easy to open and close, right? Cool. So here I am. Lima Pass. I don't think it's pronounced that way, but... And you can see where I am. It's a nice port here. Have a whole bunch of different stuff there. And uh, this is kind of the view. Nice outhouse. Unfortunately, I had to go this morning, so it would have been nice to use the facilities, but I don't need that. <laughs> so there you go. We got some more information boards here. What's this say? Another one here, it looks like it's kind of felling off. But we'll see what it has to see. Oh, it's upside down. Hold on. So, I had a really nice surprise here. I ran into another guy who I ran into in New Mexico called Pacer. Just ran into him at that trailhead. I was just emptying my shoes out and uh, he said you're Andy right I was like yeah I thought maybe you'd see me on YouTube 
Anyway, and then as soon as he said it, I'm looking at him, I'm like, that's Pacer. So I saw him in actually Lordsburg after the first five days. We were in that Mexican place and he was sitting behind me. And then I saw him again later on at the uh, the water, at a water source. One with all the bees, I remember. Yeah, yeah, he's finishing off. He was asking me if his wife could drive all the way to Chief Mountain. I said, yeah, oh yeah. So that's cool. Uh, really cool. Yeah, he's doing well. He's uh, almost done. See, it's a month, another month, right? But that's great. I mean, it'll be, I'll be longer than a month, you know? Um, but yeah, cool, very cool. Hi guys, well, I gotta tell you, I just met a really nice guy called Bill. He's retired, uh, was in the US Navy in Vietnam, so that gives you an idea how old he was. So anyway, he's got his trailer out here. And uh, he, uh, I was just trying to find this water source, so of course I walked past his trailer. I said, oh hi. I said, you don't know where the water source is. He said, oh, I don't think there's a water source around here. I said, well, I said, there is, but I said, Oh, he said, I've got lots of water. He said, why don't I give you a jug? A gallon of water. So, anyway, he did. So, I got, uh, just basically drank a whole, almost a gallon. I've got a litre and a half, which, uh, next water source is nine miles, which will be plenty, because I, like I said, I took a gallon from him. But super nice guy. Oh, he's from Florida. But he has relatives, uh, I guess, out west here. So he's out doing a lot of hiking and camping and all that stuff. So we get talking. He's driving a, he's pulling his trailer with a Toyota to Tundra. <laughs> well, I have a Toyota, you see. I really like Toyotas. I have a Tacoma. So he, he's a you know pretty smart guy and he's talking about Toyota and we we're talking about Toyota and how uh, and all that kind of stuff. How we think it's a great product and the you know the uh, warranty and crazy. Anyway, like I said, super nice guy, super nice. And it was a pleasure talking to you, Bill. Absolute pleasure. I just just remembered something. I remember Bill saying, yeah, he moved to Florida, but now he lives in, actually lives in Tucson in Arizona. That's where he lives now. So, sorry about that, Bill, but we had, uh, we certainly had, uh, we had a lot going on there. <laughs> Shared a lot of information. So, yeah. So Bill like, lives in Tucson, Arizona. Great guy. Thanks again, Bill. So here's the trail. And it's looking like it's gonna go up to where that clearing is, where there's a couple of trees. Oh. I think that's cows moving over there. <laughs> I thought I could smell some cows or at least the remnants of cows. So probably as soon as I get this video started, of course, the cows stopped moving. But I gotta tell you, if I needed it, I'd drink it. Well, without filtering and tapping it, but yeah. Yeah, that would work. My standards have sure gone down since New Mexico. Hi guys. So here I am. See all the smoke? That just kind of blew in, you know? Anyway. I got 23 miles done, a little less than I would have liked, but there's a good reason for that. Uh, mainly, I was a little worried about, well, you'll see in a minute, you see in the background there, this is all flat, 
like flat, there's no trees. But I found this little corpse of trees. And I thought, okay, you know what? I need to hang, I want to hang my food. I don't want to sleep with my food. And I thought, okay, you know what? I'm just going to camp here. So I think it's four miles to the water source, which isn't bad for the morning. And I have like a litre and litre and seven. So I have enough water to make breakfast and a little bit extra and enough to get me there. Like easy. And I mean, it just means that maybe I'll get up a little earlier. Maybe I'll start a little earlier just so I can get into the trailhead. Because that's the next thing. I'm not sure in the mileage in that. But anyway, I'll give you a look around here and you'll see what I mean. I haven't quite got everything squared away yet. Food's in the background there. And then this is this is what I'm looking at. So I came, if you see that little track in the distance, I came down that. And then there's a post way up on the hill there. Not where the trees are, but to the left. I don't know if you guys can see that. And anyway, this is what I'm looking at. But look how smoky it is. I wish we would keep the mozzies away. <laughs> but yeah, and I'll be going down this way in the morning. But yeah, you can see there's not a lot of trees. You see, and I don't know what's down there for trees. So I didn't really want to go. And it was getting close anyway. Like, I, you know, I could have maybe done a couple more miles. But, you know, it's it's 8.30 right now. I was planning on hiking till 8.30, but I, I stopped earlier. Mainly because I found these trees here. And I thought, okay, well, I can at least hang my food. And it's not a bad campsite. So this is where we end yeah, up. So like I said, it was a good day. Um... Met lots of people today. A few more people actually um, this afternoon. I met three, two, two guys and a girl. And uh, I think they were going northbound. I don't know if they're just section hiking. Um, but anyway, they were, they were nice. And uh, yeah, um, that's been it. So I hope you guys have had a good day. Um, as always, really appreciate you watching. Uh, thanks a lot and thanks for any comments that anybody gives me i i know I, I get some i don't know if i'll get service here but i'll see what happens um yeah and tomorrow tomorrow will be a short trip into town hopefully i can uh get a ride uh we'll try and sort something out for that and uh yeah that'll be the day so be in town get my new shoes i can't wait to get new shoes these are well, first of all, I feel the rocks a lot more because they're wore down. And the next thing is, is my feet are filthy because my my shoes are full of holes. Even though I've tried to patch them up, they're still full of holes. So all the dirt just comes in. But anyway, that will be solved tomorrow. Next thing is, is where will my, when will, will my socks arrive? I really hope they're here tomorrow or the next day. But uh, we'll have to... Well, I've got a tracking number, so I'll try and track him. Anyway, thanks again, guys. And it's uh, good night from me. Good night.